The gentleman you're about to meet is the most important man in any of our lives. He's the United States officer who has been sent into outer space. I'm referring to the chief astronaut with the United States Interplanetary Expeditionary Force, and here he is now. How do you do, sir? May we have your name? My name? I'll say Manas. And you're the chief astronaut with the United States Interplanetary Expeditionary Force? I ain't the chief astronaut. <laughs> with the United States Interplanetary. But my name is Sahimana. <laughs> Mr. Jimenez, could you tell us a little about your spacesuit? Yeah. It's very uncomfortable. <laughs> How much, how much did the spacesuit cost? That spacesuit cost $18,000. $18,000? Yeah. That seems rather expensive. Well, it has two pair of pants. <laughs> so that's only $9,000. Yes. Mm -hmm. I've been noticing uh, this, Mr. Jimenez. What is this called? A crash helmet? Oh, I hope not. <laughs> What are the physical qualities that they look for in an astronaut? The physical quality they look for in the astronaut. <laughs> you got to have the perfect hearing. You got to have the perfect vision. You got to have the normal blood pressure. You got to have four legs. <laughs> you have to have four legs? Yeah, they were going to send a dog, but they thought that would be too cruel. <laughs> Mr. Jimenez, you must have some opinions on the race for space. All right, I will. <laughs> I got one. Good. What do you think of Vanguard 1 and Jupiter 2? That was a pretty close game. <laughs> I thought for sure the Vanguard was going to take it. It was know? close, yes. What I... you were reading the papers about. I know. <laughs> Now tell me, Jose. I'll tell you, Jose. <laughs> tell me. Yes, I'll tell you. You just ask me and I tell you. All right. <laughs> Were you a participant at any of the rocket launchings at Cape Canaveral? I was a participant <laughs> at any of the rocket launchings at Cape Canaveral. I was there. When they opened the door into the nose cone, they took their mouth, and they put their mouth inside the nose cone. Then they closed the door on their little mouth. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Oh, Mr. Mendes, please. Please, let's uh, try to continue here. Uh, I want to ask you, what is the most important thing in rocket travel? To me, the most important thing in the rocket travel is the blast off. The blast off. I always take a blast before I take off. <laughs> Otherwise, I wouldn't get in that thing. Well, after that, what is the procedure in taking off? The procedure after that in taking off. Mm -hmm. You got to put on the step up by draw a double dynamo reversible booster. You got to activate the decompression activator. And you got to put on the anti-magnetic gaussing system. And then you're really up there. No, that opens the door. <laughs> <laughs> and lets out that little mouth. <laughs> Let's talk about the rockets themselves. Well, I, I had trouble once with one of the rockets. At Cape Canaveral? No, at the Radio City Music Hall. <laughs> There's something about separate maintenance. Yes. Uh, I don't know. Uh, let's uh, change the subject. Okay, if you know how. Let's talk about the actual rocket trip. Okay. 
By the way, do you know it's costing the government seven billion dollars to send you on this trip into outer space? That's not my fault. <laughs> I told them I was willing to go tourist. <laughs> and they said it's such a long trip. Go first class, and that's what adds up. Okay, do you think the... Uh, oh, wait, baggage, you know. Do you think there will be uh, life on Mars? Maybe if I land on a Saturday night. <laughs> Something might be happening. Otherwise, I'm going to bring a book. That's something I uh, wanted to ask you about, uh, Mr. Jimenez. Of course, it's a very long trip into outer space. Yes, it's a long trip. Uh, and I just wonder what you'll do to, uh, do to entertain yourself during those long, lonely, solitary hours when you're all by yourself. Well, I plan to cry a lot. <laughs> I, uh, I would imagine that food is a major problem on a trip into outer space. I would imagine that food is a major problem <laughs> on a trip into outer space. And it is, you know. They only allowed you to have the 10 ounces of food. Only 10 ounces of food? That's right. Well, how will you manage? I'll eat out. <laughs> After you've uh, been into outer space, uh, Mr. Jimenez, and you return to Earth, okay. where will you be landing? I am going to be landing in Nevada. In the state of Nevada? In the state of Nevada. Then you're convinced that they'll get you back to Earth? I am convinced that they will get me back to Earth. Good. Just how far into it? <laughs> That's what I'm not convinced about. Well, surely they've made some provisions to break your fall. To break my fall? Yes. Sure, Nevada. <laughs> well, Mr. Jimenez, I think you're certainly to be congratulated for this very, very dangerous undertaking. Well, don't say undertaking. <laughs> um, mission. This very dangerous mission. That's a better choice of words. And before you go... Don't I even say go. <laughs> before that, I just wonder if there are a few words that you'd like to say to the people of the United States. Yeah, there are a few words that I'd like oh, to say. Please go ahead. People, aren't you nice? People of the United States of America. Please don't let them do this to me. Yeah.